going? My name is Alana and welcome to my channel. Um, good morning, bringing you guys a little vlog. I am gonna be reacting this video to Graham Stephan's reaction of me because I was on a CNBC video showing up my apartment and then he reacted to it. So this is me reacting to him reacting, so. Little reaction inception for you. You can find it right here. It'll be right here as well in the description below because I'm sure if you're coming from his audience, you probably don't really care about my vlog. Totally fine. Vlogs are not everyone's cup of tea. No hard feelings. I get it. And then for my subscribers, hey, what's up? So glad you're here. If you're not familiar with who Graham Stephan is, I'll just explain all that later. Don't worry. I just wanted to fill you guys in. I'm about to head out to a little F45 class. Gonna come back, get some work done. So let's get on with the day. Greetings, hello, good morning, I'm all ready for my day. And the time has come for me to react to Graham Stephan's video of me on his channel. So I got my monitor right over here. Here's the video and I'm really nervous. So if you're not familiar with Graham Stephan, let me explain a little bit. So CNBC reached out to me to be in a video of theirs, basically showing up my apartment, talking about how much I pay, talking about New York City, the whole deal. And then I got a DM from Graham um, like several days after it came out and he's like, heads up, I'm going to do a reaction of your video. And I literally, screeched. I was like with my boyfriend at the time. He's like, are you okay? I was like, oh my God, I just got a DM from Graham. If you're not familiar with this channel, he basically makes videos all about finances, money, real estate. And he also does a lot of reactions of people and how they spend their money essentially on uh, specifically a lot of CNBC videos. So I've seen like all of his videos. So for one, I fangirled a little bit where I was like, oh my God, I'm going to be on his channel. And then two, I was like, I'm terrified because does not go easy and I wasn't sure what he was gonna say about my apartment so today I'm going to be watching the video for basically the first time I watched the first few minutes and I was like oh wait I should save this and film it because you know that's some prime YouTube content right there and grandma's inspired me to make sure I'm you know monetizing my life oh also if you watch his videos you know how good he is about telling people to smash that like button and hit the notification bell for the algorithm so I'm gonna take a moment to uh, say the same. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe. If you've been around for a while, make sure you like this video. Make sure you hit that notification bell. It would help me a lot. I'd appreciate it. Let's dive in. I'm really scared. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so nervous to click. Oh, my name is Graham and welcome to my show. And uh, out of nowhere, CNBC Make It just threw us this massive curveball and came out with a brand new series posted for the first time ever. It's called Living in a $5,150 a month apartment in hot? NYC. <laughs> Wait for it. Unlocked. What I find interesting is that they have this one I see here. Elena Ta Taber. <laughs> Ta Taber. No. Tab, tab, bear, tab, tabber, top, tabber. I don't know. This is my life in a nutshell. I don't know why people struggle with it so much. It's Elena. I tell people it rhymes with McKenna because it helps. Otherwise, I get Elena, I get Alana, I get Elena, I get Alana. I literally get everything but my name my entire life. Like, most of my teachers would get it wrong despite me correcting them. My own grandpa mispronounced my name for the first like three years of my life. It's Elena. You're not alone, Graham. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. But anyway, I know her because she has a YouTube channel. And I, I see all the YouTube channels out there. So you know let's what? see how she spends $5,150 a month. Before I moved to New York City, I knew it was going to be hard to find an apartment, but I don't think I realized quite how hard. And I don't think I realized that I was going to have to give up like literal daylight and, you know, space to store items and whatnot. Giving up daylight. Try moving to Alaska. <laughs> okay, I meant daylight in the sense that... Okay, sorry, I touched my hair and I'm nervous. I'm going to try not to touch my hair. I meant daylight in the sense that my living room doesn't have a window and it's like a dark cave. Okay, anyway. That's the issue with living in between buildings is like you just get direct sunlight a few hours a day, that's it, which is which is a shame. I, th I think we need sunlight. My name's Elena, and I am 23 years old, and I live in New York City. Elena, why did I think Elena? <laughs> Elena, I got I'm I got that you. wrong. Sorry about that. I live in a three-bedroom apartment with two roommates. 
and together we pay $5,150 in rent each month and then I personally pay $1,850 for my room. That's not that bad though. When you account for New York City, the cost of housing is through the roof. It's actually okay. been one of the- thank you, Graham. See, he gets it. I figured he'd get it. He's a real estate agent. Of course, all the comments, which I was honestly expecting. I wasn't surprised. On the CNBC video, where you're like, you're paying so much money. That's ridiculous. Like, why don't you move to Ohio and you can get a five bedroom apartment for the same? Right. I'm like, because I don't want to live in Ohio. I'm trying to live in New York City. And I feel like for New York City, we actually got a good deal. And I feel very affirmed in this moment. Thank you, Graham. When I first moved in here, I was really stressing about the rent. I kind of viewed this apartment as an investment because I'm like, well, if I don't live in New York forever and I hopefully won't be paying this much rent forever, I knew it was worth that little, you know, extra push. Okay, also, I read a lot of comments where people were like, somebody needs to teach this girl what investment means. I'm like, I did not mean financial investment. No doubt, renting is not a good financial investment. I meant personal investment for my career, the things I want to do, the way I want to progress personally, professionally, etc. Living in New York City is just far more conducive for that than to live in some small random city or town. Even just living here for two years, I feel like I have had way more doors open for me than I would have even expected living here. And it's really helped me kind of like advance the things I'm trying to do. So that's what I meant by investment. Yeah, you know what? I would actually, I would actually say it's pretty reasonable. You could see, the, the paint chipping on the side. We gotta make sure that's not lead-based <laughs> paint that's that, chipping out there. But you know what, it adds, I think, to the character of the place. Some weird B-roll shots they got there. They're like, Elena, just, just go and take an apple. Just, just take an apple, we'll film you doing that. And then right after you take the apple, go, go and play the guitar for a little bit. It's weird B-roll shots, but eh, what, what else can they do? Okay, so they were filming here for a couple hours. They were super kind and obviously knew what they were doing. But yeah, for b while they're like, why don't you like, when you pour yourself a glass of wine, wanna like grab a fruit from the basket, play your guitar. I'm like, this is so unnatural. That's gonna look really weird. And also I am just learning the guitar. So if I look like I have no clue what I'm doing, it's because I have no clue what I'm doing. Like I just bought it a few months ago. I'm very slowly learning chords. I was like, I literally was like, do I like really need to be playing this as B-roll? Can we do something else? And she's like, it's fine, it'll look cute. And I'm like, oh my God, someone's gonna call me out for being like a guitar noob. Like, it looks like I'm drinking so many times in this video, even though it's like one repeated glass. It's interesting B-roll. <laughs> the hunt. It looks like we're watching this like National Geographic, just the hunt. <laughs> the, the wild humans. No oh, wait, I gotta do the accent. The wild human. I, I can't do. I can't do the English accent very well. Search out the the next hunt for. Sh I, I don't know. Never mind. That was stupid. This is going to be the end of the road for a lot of salmon. <laughs> I originally started off with a budget of like. It was definitely a very quick process. Oh yeah, you got to move fast on some of these places. Honestly, like the good ones are usually gone in a day. I'm kid you not. Uh, for any good apartment, they get snapped up quick. So this is like the only light for this like communal living space. It's designed really nicely. I, I like it. I like the maroon couch. Good artwork, uh, lots of plants. It's clean. I, I honestly, I like the place a lot. It looks really nice. I'm so honored. Thanks, Graham. We tried hard. I don't know why the artwork is blurred. It definitely was a CNBAC thing. Obviously it's not, it's not blurred here on my own channel. I think it was like a copyright issue, but thank you. Much appreciated. Closet. It's pretty spacious overall, I'd say, for again for New York standards. Look at those plants. <laughs> that that's that's, that's crazy looking. Imagine that a year from now. I knew as soon as I saw it. <laughs> he was gonna say something. Else. It looks it is really crazy, and I think it looks particularly crazy in the CNBC video. I get quite the amount of natural light, so she pays a few hundred dollars less. Her roommate's a vampire. Confirmed. That that's it. That's that that's why she picked that room. So here's the bathroom, which the three of us. So there's a good chance that this might be our final year here. I wonder if she wouldn't just move somewhere else, like another city. Like just get out of New York City, go and try something else. Uh, get way more space. I don't know if the, if for the content she's doing, she needs to be in New York City. If not, I would almost suggest potentially trying something new, maybe traveling to a different country or something. That might be pretty neat. Okay, so definitely an interesting thought. I 
used to live in California and I kind of a lot of my first ever videos started in California so I have a ton of California content and that was really fun and then I was really transitioning my channel into more of like a travel channel which had been the, the dream for years leading up to the pandemic and so I was supposed to travel this whole year and that was a big goal of mine I was going to sublet my apartment actually for like all of March and April and travel around Europe and make videos about that so it was already my game plan essentially but now I'm kind of like milk in the New York angle and so a lot of my videos are all about New York lifestyle you know restaurants apartments stuff like that I think it's really worth it especially until traveling is safe once again and then you will see me on the road I don't have any complaints with that I think that's the problem is that I look at this it's like yeah I'll take it <laughs> that's a that's a relief. I wasn't sure if I was going to get out okay on this one. $5,000 a month rent is not sustainable living Gerard Miller. I actually really don't think it's that bad. 1850 a person really is not that bad, especially for a location like New York City. I just don't know if she needs to be in New York City for her content. And if the answer is no to that, I'd probably leave. Uh, do van life. Honestly, I think if she did van life, she'd do so well. Yeah. I love that he said that. So. Like I said earlier, it does make sense for me to be in New York right now, and I'm loving making New York City content, but I actually did do a van video earlier this year up the coast of California, if you want to check it out, shameless plug. Yeah, you know what, I think she needs to go through the comments and just, now she's got to make a video responding to the comments, my response to the comments, and she just goes through and just responds to some of these people. Okay, I made it out look clear. I, I mean, I guess, yeah, I'm relieved, but also I guess not so, so surprised, because I do feel like this is fair for where I live in New York. When I got this, I can considered it a really good deal and update since the video has come out I was able to ask my landlord and got $500 off every month until the end of our lease so now I'm only paying like $16.25 or something like that now I feel like I need to respond to some of these comments <laughs> because Graham told me to so let's see what we've got going on here so many of are people just complaining I'm, I'm sorry but I'm not paying $2,000 a month to live with other people lol lol where do you live though? I can guarantee you definitely don't live in Lower Manhattan. As someone who's born and raised here and lives in New York City, 100% this is not worth it, she's getting robbed. I respectfully disagree. If you look up apartments in the East Village, Lower East Side, Greenwich, NoHo and Alita, et cetera, I'm getting a really good price for this area, um, especially pre-pandemic. Now, during the pandemic, I could get a better deal. I'm in a really prime spot, so I'm not just paying for my apartment, I'm paying for the neighborhood, I'm paying for the easy accessibility, I'm paying for the fact that I can walk two minutes to some of like, the best restaurants in the city. The fact that she can literally work anywhere in the world since she makes YouTube videos for a living makes me seriously question her intelligence for choosing to live in New York. Calling rent investment is extremely idiotic and misguided. Okay, I already touched on investment piece earlier. I have an investment video if you want to figure out ways to invest as a beginner that are actual financial investments. And I cannot make your videos anywhere in the world right now. I was, and I would love to go back to doing so, but we're in a pandemic and my options are pretty much New York or my parents live in California. I already went home to them for five months during the pandemic. I, I don't need to go back. I have a lease here. And YouTube requires a lot more like strategy and attention to algorithm. The algorithm that people expect, and trust me, if I move to like Ohio right now, I'm gonna keep using it as an example my channel would not perform as well and i know that it's strategic that i'm living here in new york city a day in my life vlog in ohio is not going to perform as well on my channel than like a day in my life in new york city video hey david singer said the investment is definitely paying off she's featured on cnbc david gets it thank you david all right i'm gonna wrap this up because this is getting a little long but i hope you guys enjoyed bonds thanks for watching um the rest of this video is now going to transition into a vlog because i know that's what people on my channel like uh, we're all so if you're from Graham's channel you want to subscribe hit that button below check it out and thanks for watching all right that was fun so now I am about to go get some food I've done some work here this morning I'm going to meet my good friend Jenny I haven't really seen her since February which is really sad because we were supposed to be spending like a good chunk of our year together in Europe and that did not happen and I want to see her beautiful face so I think I'm gonna go get little bow buns and bring her one and then I'm gonna go work from Fletcher's apartment just to mix it up because I'm at this desk like every day and I kind of go a little crazy working here it's really monotonous so let's go do this Thank you.
You don't believe in climate change? How am I wearing a crop top right now in the middle of November in New York City? Starting from Grand Stephan and I actually bought some actual coffee beans, ground coffee from Brimstone Lane, which I love. Super bomb here in Soho. I feel like this is an area where I spend a lot of time and there's so many great restaurants and cafes. I'm gonna keep trying to share more as I come across them or as I like revisit them. Cause I feel like that's one of the things people ask for the most is my like coffee shop recommendations restaurant recommendations and there are so many tasty spots in Soho and what's great is that it's like one street away from Chinatown one street away from Lower East Side so if you live in New York visiting New York there's so much and so much a small radius to check out for yourself About to wrap up a little video. <sighs> Feeling pretty productive. Getting a good amount done. Fletch is over there working with the soundproof headphones so we can't hear this right now. Look how good he did decorating with this spot. So proud of him. The cool all the couch. So nice just having somebody even like several feet away to work next to. Because I feel like it just makes me so much more motivated to work near somebody. I really miss having a co-working space for that reason. Because I'm staying on track and getting my stuff done. my life, my daily routine. Adobe Premiere. My mouth is shut. Hello, I need to shoot some branded content. So, I decided to come up on the roof and use New York City as my backdrop. Butterflies. I know I've lived here for over two years, but I 100% get butterflies every time I come up on a rooftop in New York City and see the skyline. Like, are you kidding me? Insane. Okay, I'm gonna get some really lopsided content. Me, the professional I am, it's all fake. Everything is fake. Don't believe what you see on social media. It is almost five o'clock and then I have an F45 workout class. I decided to splurge on them for the next month as like a birthday gift to myself. Even though it's putting myself through a lot of pain. I, sorry, it's really loud in the background, but I figured if I'm gonna spend money on anything this year, it should be health and wellness. That's the Empire State Building right there. That doesn't get old. I guess for someone that didn't grow up here and only moved here a couple years ago, that's not gonna get old anytime soon for me. I feel great. 